Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> it is a beautiful day. Um, Ethan is going to get a haircut. Right now he's whistling to Cornelius from outside. <laughs> he is singing. <laughs> he's singing. He's still singing to us even though he's indoors. into music in the sun I can see your freckles popping out on your nose all right I just chopped up this pineapple I don't know I mean maybe we could grill it because um, we are gonna grill today it looks kind of ripe it smells good doesn't smell I've I've smelled bad pineapple and this doesn't smell bad um I just saw Gabriel race down the driveway with a tennis racket so and I guess they're playing tennis um I'm hearing lots of noise coming from the garage oh oh he's trying to clean the our door, our sliding door that goes outside from the porch is like, it, it's hard to open. Um, so he's trying to probably clear the, the tracks and maybe put some grease on it or something. Um, we're gonna be, well, I have my rehearsal, um, but I think while I'm at rehearsal, there's going to be all sorts of things happening here. Um, the trampoline is going up the boys will probably be playing outside with maybe with a neighbor. It looks like they're playing tennis right now. Um, but, oh good, I was just going to make sure you were awake. <laughs> I'm awake. <laughs> That's good, because we have to go to a rehearsal today. So, woo! Alright, now I see what they're doing. Gabriel's got a tennis racket. They've now moved to the backyard. Gabriel's got a tennis racket, and Ethan has his uh, his baseball glove, and he is he's hitting a tennis ball, doing different things like fly balls and grounders, and but with with a tennis racket. I um I'm at we are at the CVS drive-through waiting for our COVID tests and he has a daffodil behind his ear and it looks very nice with his outfit. Uh, <laughs> we're driving back from <laughs> we're driving back from our COVID test <sighs> and there was a groundhog trying to cross the road and there was oncoming traffic and I I didn't hit him. He was right about to go under my wheels and yeah. then he didn't uh, and oh my word yeah, I, I don't really know what's ooh. going on right now <laughs> yeah gabriel's in the back seat going what what's going on <laughs> we're on our way to our final final rehearsal
we had a great rehearsal. It was successful. It's gonna be a really good concert. And now we're home and Horatio and I moved the grill to over here because the wind is so, so strong. And I didn't want there to be like flames blowing out of the grill. True. Smells good, honey. Thank you. Oh, and he wore his south side shirt and it actually gave the Cubs good luck because the Cubs won 17, or no, 21 to zero. And um, it must be because he wore a south side shirt. I know I need to burn it. We took a walk and then we sat on the stoop here. We need to get, we really need to get, we're gonna get chairs for our front porch. We don't have any. Yeah, because it's pretty to sit out here and watch the sunset. Yeah. And um, we've been discussing all of the things, all of the things and all of the preparations and all of the, just everything. And um, I'm, Wrapping my brain around everything. <sighs> I was driving. I'm, I'm coming to Target because I want to pick something up for Ethan. For him to wear for tomorrow. I, he needs he needs black jeans. He doesn't own black jeans. So I'm getting him some. Hopefully if they have some in his size. Um, and it hit me. I just need to confirm our hotel room. And I started panicking because I started looking at my reservation. And I realized that I was in such a hurry making that reservation because it, everything happened so quickly that I did not reserve through their website. I mean, it was, it everything looked legit, you know, and I have confirmation number and all of that. But I was, I, I had a panic for a moment. I thought... <gasps> So I called the hotel and I made sure that I have a reservation and we do. So, um, yeah. And so I just found out that check-in time is four o'clock and that's what I thought, but they did say they could get us in early depending on how the night before goes. So <laughs> his appointment is at four o'clock. I do not want to be going to his appointment with our luggage. Well, they did say that they could hold our luggage. So I would really prefer if we could be checked in before his appointment. Um, so, yeah. Oh, I also asked um, what the availability looks like on Wednesday night because I don't know when we're coming home. And that's driving me nuts and um, not nuts. Just like I've never taken a trip like this in my entire life. I've never bought a one-way ticket and not known if I'm coming back on Wednesday or Thursday. So this is new territory. My mom thinks that I should just go ahead and extend it and just enjoy, you know, a day. If he doesn't make it to the final, final round, just have fun or, you know, just walk around and enjoy being there. Um, and I want to, but I also don't want to, like, not be here or if I should be here. You know, it's... I'm struggling. Final clip. <laughs> um, so I'm sitting here going, what do I need to do? What do I need to do? You actually turned the AC on. Yeah, we did. We turned the air conditioning on because it was feeling extremely stuffy in here. And um, yeah. And now it feels very nice in here and it's bizarre that we have the AC on and it's not May yet, but oh well. Well, it was 82 degrees. So. Yeah, it got really warm today. Well, actually it was 83. Mm-hmm. So, um, I'm sitting here and I'm just like, I have 
my suitcase. Um, mostly packed. And I, and Ethan is reading. And um, what are you doing? Before Dad gets up here, he probably won't want to draft. No, he'll want the, yeah, he wants the draft on him. Because your dad is a human furnace. <laughs> um, but I'm, I'm feeling... I mean, I'm tired, but I'm also energized, energized because of stuff. stuff that's coming up. So uh, tomorrow is going to be crazy. The next day is going to be even crazier. And um, I'm hoping that tonight I just sleep. But I, I told my mom, I feel like I'm probably not going to sleep until... <laughs> Until I know um, what's happening with Gabriel. So, um, yeah. I won't f I won't sleep until I know if he's going to be in the final callbacks. And even then, I won't. <laughs> oh, my word. It's just like, I've been sleeping, but then I wake up. And I wake up, and it's like 6 o'clock in the morning. And... I stayed up late because I was like, Ugh, oh my goodness. Anyway, until tomorrow.